Hey everyone, Metagross Freak here with a quick video comparing a lightly armored and heavily armored CCBS character. Now I'm going to move my heavily armored character out of the way for now because I want to look at the small one first. So the best part about having a lightly armored CCBS character like this is you can use a lot smaller pieces and it's a lot easier to manage. Um, let me remove this chain to show you the character's arm, for example. On this, I'm able to use the smallest possible bone pieces that use ball joints, and the armor pieces I'm able to use are the, I believe this is a size 1 or size 2, and a size 2 slash 3 shell. Uh, this makes essentially it, the, uh, this, because I have smaller armor, I can also have smaller limbs. And so the character, as you notice, is a lot smaller than the the larger one I had, significantly smaller in fact, and you only need about 10 armor pieces, the 8 shells, the 1 chest plate, and the mask. However, when compared to the heavily armored character, it's a different story. As you can see, the smaller character, which is about a hand high, is I'd say about an average of oh, 3 inches shorter than this heavily armored character, and that's because the heavily armored characters need larger limbs. For example, the limb pieces I used on this guy would not be able to support the chest plates I use on these legs. However, these legs have have, uh, have peg holes, as you can see. They have peg holes which allow you to attach armor on the back of the leg. Um, also, larger pieces, like the ones I used for the thigh, have a number of holes. This one has four, which I'm able to attach armor like this on, the Vorox armor, onto the back. Uh, some pieces are a little bit difficult. For example, I couldn't do the armor on the front and back for these arms, even though I use the same piece, and that's just because of the way certain armor pieces are designed. Um, so you'll have to experiment a little bit with what works and what doesn't work. However, take a look at this character, for example. This character has, of course, the mask, they have a chest plate, a little armor piece on the chest plate, as well as two additional chest plates with armor pieces down here on the leg. They have a size, I believe this is either a size uh, six or seven armor piece with an add-on on the back. Uh, because it's a larger set, a larger uh, body piece, a slightly larger body piece, I'm able to have pauldrons, which have armor add-ons, and of course, armor add-ons on the limbs, on all of the limb pieces, and the armor pieces on the back of the legs. This is significantly more armor pieces. I believe this is 31 in total. You might want to count to check my math, but I believe that's 31 in total, as opposed to the 10, which is on this little guy. So, yeah, um, keep that in mind when you're designing characters. Uh, for example, the video I did of the Liwa fusion back, a while back, um, had more simple armor like this. It may have had a, it may have had a couple of larger shell pieces like that, but it was a simpler set. Usually sets that are smaller and have lighter armor are generally faster, more agile. Meanwhile, the a character like this was closer to how I built Anua and Tahu, who were, you know, they're, they're bulkier, they're more, they're, they're tankier, they have more physical strength. So keep that in mind when you're designing your characters. Lighter armor, smaller character, means it is faster, more agile. Larger character, more, more armor, and more additions to the armor is a more defensive and generally physically stronger character. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Metagross Freak, and have a great one.